hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is precious right so in this video we want to consider the concept of the gradient of a line so you remember we've been on a series uh, straight line equations and uh, we have seen how to calculate the line or the distance between two points and uh, we have seen examples on that and seen some applications of it okay so now if we have uh, of course remember i said that a line is formed when you join two points okay so if we have a line a b and it is uh, slanted or even if it is horizontal or vertical there is what we call the gradient of a line it talks about how bent a line is okay and then it is defined as the vertical rise uh, divided by the horizontal run Okay, so if I have a line like this, I should check the vertical rise, which is the distance from where it started to where it ended vertically, and then all over the distance of the horizontal run from where it started to where it ended horizontally as well. Okay, so that's what uh, gradient or the slope of a line is all about. Okay, so now, we, how do we get the formula for this? How do we get the, the vertical run and the the sorry the vertical rise and the horizontal run and it is of course very easy the vertical run is the the value of y which because is a vertical axis the value of y here which is y2 minus the value of y down here which is y1 of course we can see that from here sorry this thing is y2 sorry y1 not y2 and that's all over the the what about your horizontal run the horizontal run is the value of x where the run ended, where the movement ended, which is b, and that's your x2 minus the value of your x where it started, which is your x1. Okay, so and that's the formula for calculating the slope of a line using this formula approach. There is also what we call the slope or gradient of inclination. You know, we can use that inclination formula or we can also use this other formula and we'll see that in a short while so we have some examples here very quick ones they said we should find the slopes of the lines joining the points very simple examples okay so how do we go about it so for a now our slope usually we represent a slope with uh, m okay so m is equal to y i wouldn't have to write the formula again is already here my y2 in this case is negative 5 and then minus my y1 is minus 1 okay divide this by my x2 which is 2 minus my x1 which is negative 4 and that is going to give me of course this is minus 5 plus 1 all over 2 plus 4 which when you divide you are going to get minus 4 all over 6 and that's equal to minus 2 all over 3 that's your solution okay and then quickly when we look at the second example our slope here is simply equal to my y2 is uh, minus 4 minus uh, my y1 which is 3 all over uh, my x2 is uh, minus 8 minus my x1 which is minus 1 okay so and when you sum you're going to have negative 7 as your numerator all over minus 8 this will change to plus minus 8 plus 1 and that's also negative 7 so that means that our slope is what uh, 1 okay it's that very easy all right and then we look at our also how to calculate the gradient of uh, an inclination that's using the inclination approach so in this case you can see that your vertical rise is the distance from here to here let's call it a and then your horizontal run is the distance from here to here let's call it b okay so from here it is easy to see that our slope m is simply equal to a all over b okay that's vertical rise over the horizontal run right and then quickly we can see here that if we apply uh, the trigonometric ratios 
you will see that this uh, stands for the opposite because it is opposite to the angle of inclination and why your B here is the adjacent. Uh, of course, here is always your hypotenuse, right? So what that means is that uh, our slope M is simply equal to opposite all over the adjacent of the triangle we have. And this particular uh, question here represents a, a trigonometric ratio and that trig is, uh, sorry, is not sine, it is tangent. So it is equal to the tan of the angle facing your A, which is the angle of inclination. Okay, so that is to say that when you give me a particular inclination of a line, it is enough for me to use it to get the slope of that line. All I need to do is to take uh, the, the tangent of that angle of inclination and that gives me my slope. Right, so let's quickly now, in, 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 in other words, if you give me the slope, I can also use it to get the angle of inclination. That is to say that these two formulas are actually related because with this particular two points, I can get my slope and from my slope, I can get the angle of inclination, which is this one. Right, so now let's quickly now do these examples. It says here that we should find the angle of inclination of a line whose slope is 2. Okay, so we can see in this case they have given us the slope and they're asking us to find the angle of inclination. So from this formula now, our slope is 2 and it is equal to the tan of the angle of inclination, which is what we are looking for. And so the meaning is that our angle is simply take the tan to the other side and when it goes there, it becomes tan inverse. So we have tan inverse of 2. And when you check your tan inverse of 2, okay, so tan inverse of 2 gives us uh, approximately 63.4 degrees. And that's the angle of inclination for your slope. Okay, so now we look at the second example. Um, the second example, should I leave that one? Okay, let's quickly look at all of them. So for the second example, we have that what is the slope of a line with an angle of inclination of 35? Very simple. Your M is simply equal to the tan of that angle of inclination, which is 135 from the question here. The, the tan of 135 is uh, negative 1. And so it means that our slope is minus 1. So lastly, let's look at the third example here. It says that we should find the angle of inclination when you have two points. You know, just like what I said here, when you are given two points, you can actually find the angle of inclination. So what do we do? So what we do is to first of all find the slope. So when we find the slope, we substitute it here and then make our angle the subject of the formula like we did here. Okay, so let's quickly do that. So our slope is uh, equal to, okay, so is equal to y2 minus y1. Our y2 is 7 minus y1, which is 4, all over x2, which is 5, minus 3, which is our x1. This is going to give us 3 all over 2, and that is equal to 1.5. Okay, so if our slope is 1.5, Substituting it into this, we are going to have that 1.5 is equal to the tan of alpha, which is our angle of inclination. And by the time we make that alpha the subject, we are going to have tan inverse of uh, 1.5. And of course, when we look for this value, we will get uh, 56.3 approximately as the angle of inclination right and that is the end of our discussion you recall that we looked at um, the gradient of a line from you know the the geometric approach where you have the horizon the vertical rise all over the horizontal run and then we looked at it using the inclination approach where we have that the slope or gradient is simply equal to the tangent of the angle of inclination right please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel if what we are doing is okay you help us you know to support uh, the work and then like and share our youtube video we will see you in our next video bye